What's up, A Kev Kev Nation? It's your boy Kev, and today I'm back with another video. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, I did a video on what the world has come to in 2020, so go check that out. If you have not checked out our podcast, we did a podcast on Corona survival and police brutality and racism. That's by the Sip and Chill with Akiki. You can check that on Anchor and SoundCloud. I will also be dropping the link in the description for those. So before I get into this video, what I want you to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to your boy's channel if you mess with your boy's channel. Just subscribe because if I mess with your channel, I'm going to subscribe. So today's topic that I'm going to be doing is what happened to Corona. Now, you guys probably been thinking the same thing I have been thinking because all of a sudden Corona swam into the air like it don't exist no more. So I think that... Personally, Corona do exist, but we're not paying attention to it as we were before. One, because we got locked down, so we was at home first. Okay, so first it started as in April, I think, no, in March. And then it went to April 7th. Then it went to April 27th. Then it went to May 4th. Then it went into June. Like, you know, every time it's supposed to reopen, it doesn't reopen. So... That's what happened. Um, I feel as though I've been seeing a lot of conspiracies of people saying, oh, it's the government trying to be able to monitor us. They were see talking about, oh, there's a chip that they have to put inside you to cure the corona. I feel like all those type of stuff are not really common base, like real things. I just feel like there's a bigger picture going on. And I feel like... First of all, if you're doing something and you're dirty, wash your hands. That's common sense. Or hand sanitize your hands. It's common sense. Um, I don't know where the corona like originally came from. Like, I guess it came from bat soup. I don't know what makes bat appetizing to eat, but yeah. Um, that's what it came from, came from allegedly from, um, you know, what they said. But I felt like, it's just a lot of things that are going on that don't make sense. Like, all of a sudden, we have protests. People are wearing masks. People are not wearing masks. And it's just like, the news already said that we're supposed to have a second wave. Now, if we're supposed to have a second wave, why are states still opening knowing that the numbers have increased? Like, for me personally, that makes me feel like all the hard work that we then put in to stay at home, only have essential workers on the street, only, you know, only be out if you need to. It just doesn't make sense because all the hard work that we put into, now we got to retract. So it's just like, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something that I don't know, but I just felt like <clears throat> there's a lot going on. There's a bigger picture of this whole Corona thing, like what is what is going on? Um, some advice I would basically just say is like, if you don't need to go out, don't go out. Because I know a lot of us like are excited because we've been in the house for so long that we have just been wild. We go out, we go to restaurant because you can go out now. Like, you know, we're in, what is it? Phase two. So like stuff does the stuff are opening up. I'm excited. But in my head, I keep thinking about winter, like fall, winter. So. I keep thinking about when the news keeps saying, oh, the second wave is going to be deadly. No, 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 This, this basically is a sign that we need to basically like still protect ourselves because if it's going to be deadly, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be a part of it. Like, you know, I want to go to an island where there's nobody, just animals and I can bond with the animals. But, yeah, so, I mean, that's where I'm at. I just feel like there's a lot going on, and it's not being addressed. I know that the economy needs to open. Like, I get that. But if everybody's dying, where are you going to get your money from? I Like, yeah, that's my question. Like, if everybody's dying, where are you going to get your money from? If everybody's sick, where are you going to get your money from? Because if people are sick, 
You can't encourage people to go out because then they're going to spread it to the people that are not sick. So it's just like, I don't understand. Like in Massachusetts, we opened up. We done had, what was it? 438 cases one day. Then it was 358 someday. Then two something. And then it went back up. Like, that should not be happening. Like, it shouldn't. Like, we just we just got back outside. At this point, the numbers are going to go back up. And it's like, what's going to happen? Are we going to be able to... Got to go back on the second lockdown? Like, at this point, nothing is normal. The, the We don't live in a normal world no more. So, a lot of things that people are looking for, it's going to take time because nothing is normal. Because... One, you gotta be six feet apart. You gotta wear a mask. It's hot as hell outside. And you wear a mask, but it helps if you have allergies, cause normally you'll be sneezing, but the mask is helping. So there's just like a lot of things that are going on that, you know, it's just not normal. It's not a normal thing that we'll do on a daily get up, shower, brush our teeth, do everything, and then be like, I gotta grab my mask and leave the house, grab my hand sanitizer, and leave the house. Like, no, it's not something that we do on a normal base. So, yeah, but I just want to know what really happened to Corona because that's not even the main focus. Like, I haven't heard anything about that. Right now, all I've been hearing is about police brutality and the racism, which is a, be a very big deal in America. But it just seems like people don't care no more. People are just tired. People are just like wanting to fight for what they believe. So, I mean, right now, it's just everybody's for themselves. I feel like you cannot, you cannot keep people on lockdown because even when we was on lockdown, not everybody was listening. Not everybody was staying at home if they didn't have to go out. So I just feel like at that point, and seeing that there's no vaccine or cure is just like, what can a person really do besides stay clean? Like, that's just what I feel. Um, That's really it. Like, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think happened to Corona because that, that shit just disappeared. Like, the numbers, we just talk about the numbers and opening and it's just like nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I really don't know. It amazes me. It amazes me how... One thing can be the topic for months and then all of a sudden something has happened and co nobody cares about Corona. Corona is just gone. So I want you guys to comment what you guys think happened to Corona. Let me know what you guys think happened to Corona. And with that being said, that's all I have for you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe, share this video, and just let me get, let me know what you guys think in the comments. With that being said, A Kev Kev Nation, we are out.